One of the News Talk listeners says, please ask Luke, do we know why children don't seem to get COVID? And that's precisely what you were going yeah, to talk about next. The, and people said there's no God patch, you see. That's it. Someone predicted that coming, did they, telepathically? But you're <laughs> right. The, I mean, the, the, but that's another big, maybe the person saw this because they get a big report last week looking at children yet again. And, 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 and the beauty of this, Pat, is, as I say, science just keeps moving forward with COVID and great science is being done. I mean, if as an immunologist, I'm looking at this stuff really overjoyed in a way because the science is so compelling, you know. Now, we know that children don't get sick. They get very mild disease. They're usually asymptomatic. And the big question is why? Because if we don't understand that, you might you know, use what they've got to treat adults, for instance. So it's a very important area of research anyway. And the first thing is, but what's amazing is it's very hard to find virus in children by PCR. So you know the child's been infected. You can detect antibodies even in their bodies because they're making antibodies to the spike or whatever it might be. And yet they're negative on PCR. Now, you know, people think, oh, that PCR test test is so sensitive, you'd pick up a tiny trace. The fact that yeah. you can't pick up virus means they have superb immune systems. They absolutely sterilize themselves from this virus. And the most sensitive of all PCR tests cannot pick the virus up. So that confirms that what children have is a spectacular immune system against the virus. And one study, Pat, which was published last week, three children in a household where there was a lot of infection going on. The children got infected. They never, ever detected the virus in those children. All they ever found was antibody, you know. So in other words, as soon as the virus was in their body, their immune system kicked in, made antibodies and eliminated the virus almost instantaneously. It's remarkable, isn't it? So, so in other words, mm. children have a really powerful way to handle this virus. And then, of course, the question is, what have they got? they make what are called interferons. Now, these are a very important part of what's called the innate immune system. These interferons will kill viruses very effectively and children have a ramped up interferon system. And that's another reason why we think they're, they're so good at handling the virus. Now, when you, we talk about children, at what age does that kind of uh, ability fade? Well, that's the next question. Adolescence, yeah, seems to be the time. Now, remember, anybody under 40 probably has this to some extent. It fades as you get older, obviously enough, and, and then you get into older age, and that's when we see all the difficulties, of course, you know, and that innate part seems to be less active as you age. But I, I think anything from puberty on, you begin, now, mind you, it's still pretty strong in your 20s, and we know this, you know, because obviously young people are, broadly speaking, protected, but kids, kids have a supercharged way to do this, I guess. Yeah.